Hey y'all. I'm Jamie Dean, I'm here in Mama's Kitchen. This is Davis. This is our third son who just turned two. Davis, can you say hi? Hi. hi. And so you know that we are a busy family. Uh, Jack is turning 16 this summer, falls in, he's back in school. Oh my gosh, Matthew's 11. Middle school football practice has started. I've uh, blessed to be able to help coach, so I'm doing that. And then Brooke's got a million things going on. Today's a busy day, so Davis is here with Daddy a little bit, and we're gonna make a delicious sandwich. This is perfect for the fall time. We're talking about football seasons coming, whether it's middle school, high school, or the University of Georgia. Go dogs! Say go dogs! Go dogs! Go dogs! Yay. Sick him. He's wearing one crock today, so. We're just like y'all. We keep it together as best as we can. Sometimes we like to be barefoot, barefoot, barefoot. <laughs> so this sandwich, y'all, is something great that you can prepare at the house. You can carry it to the tailgate. It's easy to reheat if you want to put it on a grill or if you have an air fryer. So let's get started, David. You want to get down? Can they have a kiss? See, oh, I love you. <laughs> Ferbert, go find your brother. Go, go, go. So I got a big Pyrex pan here. Eight by 13, what is it, Teresa? Nine by 12. Nine by 13. It's a nine by 13. Everybody knows that. I'm gonna lightly spray that. And I've got a pack of crescent rolls. I love the crescent rolls. And I use them not as crescent rolls, really, but it's just a sheet of puff pastry that's affordable, easy, and versatile for me. I make a million different things with these. But we're gonna pop one out. Let's find our line. Now, here's something that you might have to do, if your pan is a little bit bigger than mine, you know, you can easily stretch this out and we'll pinch together the bottoms. So what we've done is we've taken eight crescent rolls and we made really one piece of puff pastry. So I'm gonna get this in. And then over here, right next to it, is everything that we're gonna put in our, our sandwich bake today. And I'm going with the original Holy Trinity, ham, turkey, and roast beef. I have a half a pound of each of those, and I have two eight ounce packages of cheese. Now I've chosen to use mozzarella and provolone because that's what my family likes. But if you want to use shredded American, smoked Gouda, anything that you'd like, all the cheeses here will work. And then we're gonna put together a really quick little flavor profile to sweep in there. But first, this is going in the oven for 10 minutes. Y'all stick around, it's a giant baked sandwich coming up. Mm -hmm. Y'all look, I got my crescent roll completely done here. All right, layer one of delicious flavor. I've got butter. This is a quarter of a cup that I've melted down. I have two, I think this is teaspoons of mustard. And then I have going into this two, just one, one tablespoon of what's dish cheer sauce pronounced Worcestershire sauce in other parts of the country. I'm gonna just give this a quick little spin through here. Worcestershire, butter, and mustard. Don't you know, as my daddy would say, we are cooking gas this morning. You can put that anywhere, Teresa, thank you. Sorry. So I'm gonna put half of this on this crescent roll. And this is gonna bake into here. I did, I did 10 minutes, it's browned up a little bit. It's a little soft in the center, but this is gonna be a soft sandwich when you see the amount of cheese that I'm putting in here. And plus we're gonna bite this again on the back end. So I'm real happy with 10 minutes here. Golly, that mustard is just gonna be so good in here. Now, like I told y'all earlier, we're doing big sandwiches. This is a pound and a half of meat. I went a half a pound of ham, roast beef, and turkey, and I've got my eight ounces of cheese here. So I'm gonna do cheese first. All of this is going on. Yes, all of it is going on. I'm gonna put my mozzarella down on the bottom, and I'm gonna layer my meats here. I'm gonna do some roast beef. Now this is really, you can make this three different Sandwiches if you want. You could drag it all down to one end and you could say, all right, y'all, we got the top third is roast beef, the middle third is gonna be turkey, and then your far end will be ham. But since this is just me and y'all, I'm gonna do it the way I'd like to do it and I'm gonna combine it all. 
Now I know you're saying, golly, that is an awful lot of meat you're putting on there, big boy. Well, that's what mama's recipe calls for and that's what I'm gonna do because this serves 12 people. I'm telling you, this is perfect for a tailgate. And right on top of here, I'm gonna do our provolone cheese. Mm hmm boy, that, yes, please. Okay, now our last thing, I've got one more tube of this crescent roll. Today, the day that I'm filming this, we have 29 days until I get to go watch the University of Georgia play football. This would be a great tailgate sandwich. Perfect for a tailgate. And then if you've got any kind of little electric oven or grill or something that you use for your tailgates, this would be perfect popped in there and reheated it. If you make it at the house, cool it, slice it, wrap it in some foil, and then throw it in your heater right there at the tailgate. And man, it is just gonna be perfect. Worcestershire mustard butter. This is gonna brown up so pretty. Mm. Mm. I hear mama just talking away in the back. It's been raining here this morning. It's a good day to get in the kitchen and do some cooking. Very lastly, y'all, I'm gonna sprinkle this with some sesame seeds. You know what, they sell black sesame seeds that would be really pretty on here, but we've got our mustard seeds that are already kind of dark. I'm just gonna sprinkle this around and it'll look like the top of a bun. This is cool, y'all. Little enough. Okay, so this is, ooh, it's still a lot. So this, y'all, is now gonna go back into the oven for 15 minutes. Let's go! Oh! oh, oh, oh. If it weren't for the women in my life, y'all, I'd be walking down the middle of the street with no pants on. Like Teresa said, cover it. We're going to cover it with full, and then it's going to go for 15 minutes. Ooh! Y'all, look at this. Oh, I've got a couple oh, things going on on the stove here. Let's know it's ready, Matt. Are you ready? This is our sandwiches that we made, y'all. Now, let's take a look. I've let this cool for a few minutes. Now, how am I going to do this? Should I go three layers? Let's go. So I'm going to go three wide. And we'll go. So I made these on this end a little bit bigger. So I'm going on this end. Let's see what we got here. Mm, mm, mm. Not quite there. You're teasing us. Well, I've come unprepared. Don't have a towel to handle this hot pan. There we go. Mm -hmm. Golly, Moses, y'all. I mean, it takes a little bit of work to get this sandwich, but I bet every minute was worth it. Get one right here for my boy. Mmm. The thing about this is, you bring this to your tailgate, and it might not matter which team wins. Mm. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Great day in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get him. That's a damn good sandwich. I'll see y'all around the kitchen. y'all it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell 
to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all. <laughs>